So I'd like to uh, continue with a little bit uh, with some thanks to all the people who have uh, made this conference possible. And I want to give uh, some special thanks to uh, the two deans of the faculties uh, in our institutions, Professor Joseph Mishtera uh, from the Czech Republic and Professor David Rabbit from HAT. And for uh, another special thanks to Professor Hanan Kaminsky from the Faculty of Design in, H in HAT. To uh, Mr. Thomas Lisak, who was the conference coordinator, who's been working uh, quite a lot with Arnas and me in the last uh, month. Uh, big thanks to Gal Steinhardt, who is the head of the IT department at HAT. Uh, he will be uh, assisting us today and hopefully will not have anything to do. We hope so. And the last thing, the last thanks is for uh, Aviv Lichter, who uh, did the graphic design for this conference. And uh, if you registered to the conference, you probably visited our website. And he did, uh, I think, a great job. And uh, you can find all the information about the speakers and the abstracts. And hopefully later on, we will upload all the recordings of this conference. So I hope that you will get back to this uh, well-designed uh, website. Okay, so uh, now I would like to take the next 10 minutes to say some introductory words on AI and design. This is the theme of our conference and give a short overview of the conference uh, structure. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, Technology has always influenced the field of design and has been a prominent factor in the various transformations that it has undergone over the years. The entry of artificial intelligent platforms into the design field can be perceived not only as an addition to the technological toolbox used by designers today, but also as an expression of a much more profound change. In the post-human age in which we live today, the clear distinction between humans and machines that has characterized modern Western thought in the past is becoming increasingly blurred. Computer systems and code logic are embedded in the most essential characteristics of human existence, while automated machines are acquiring traits typical to living systems. Thanks to new developments in the field of AI, the new algorithm-based machines are no longer classified only as computational apparatus of a significant logic na nature, but they also take part in fields that were previously considered unique to human beings, especially in those that are creative. This leads to undermining of the binary distinction between thinking human being who learns and creates and the executive machine that optimizes and improves human activity through embedded automation systems. Indeed, artificial intelligence platforms using deep learning and neural networks are currently able to autonomously, or we can say quasi-autonomously, quasi perform many of the tasks the designers use, uh, use to carry out, out, as we will see in many examples that will be presented here today. Such platforms that threaten to render human designers obsolete are capable of generating designs with speed and diversity that human designers cannot accomplish. Illustrating original images, designing furniture, drawing architecture plans, creating fonts and suggesting marketing campaigns, to mention just a few examples. In addition, AI systems deal with the complex problem solving challenges and can generate behavioral predictions and link entities from diverse ontological, ontological fields. They take part in both planning and production and touch upon the two key components of design, the aesthetic and the operational form and function. Although the integration of AI system in the design process is in its early phases, it, its great potential cannot be contested. However, the manner in which AI applications are implemented as well as the logic and infrastructures behind their operation must be critically examined. Machine learning systems, which are widely implemented in design impose an order on the world which is not inherent to it. 
mystically characterized as intelligent, they are based on statistical calculations which determine what can be considered as true or false. Furthermore, the systems cannot escape the boundaries of the categories that are implicitly embedded in the training data state that they're using. These data sets reflect systems of human power and are directed by human factors. Furthermore, the massive finance, uh, financial resources invested in AI in recent years in what can be considered as algorithmic capitalism have turned AI into a major factor in the shaping of political, civic, and private spaces. The principle that outlined AI's development in the military, consumer, and entertainment industry, we can say that after the COVID crisis, uh, the health industries are also entering these uh, domains, which are the engines behind the development of AI systems are projected into the ways in which AI is being used and the value systems they encompass. In addition, the fact that it is not possible to trace how AI system works what we uh, call the black boxes they create, requires that additional attention be devoted to the ethical issues involved in the system and the racial, gender-based and social bias that they generate and often amplify. When we acknowledge these issues, we find that the role of the designer can be of special importance. Designers should not only be perceived as user or collaborators with the systems in their design process, but they can also have an essential role in their development. Just as computer scientists who generate the systems should control the behavior of the system, a designer can aspire to perform beyond the original intent of the developers of these systems and therefore offer a new trajectory that can lead to more beneficial and just ways of using AI for all potential users, as well of for the environment, uh, which is of course a very crucial uh, issue today. Uh, the design conference will refer to these issues and to the many questions that they address, uh, such as, and we have addressed these uh, questions uh, in our call for papers uh, for this uh, conference. So, I'll just read a, a few of them. Uh, what are the new roles of designers vis-a-vis -vis the use of artificial intelligence? How does the politics behind AI system influence design products? To what extent can machines be auto autonomous or creative in the design process? Does AI entry into the design realm redefine the design disciplines? And what is the impact of AI on design aesthetics? And now I would like to give a short, uh, to shortly uh, uh, comment on the conference uh, structure. So uh, we've invited three keynote speakers representing different approaches to the potential relationship between artificial intelligence and the field of design. We will begin uh, the conference with Professor Vladen Joller's lecture that will present a comprehensive analysis of what he called the invisible matrix hidden behind digital networks and artificial intelligence. And he will refer widely to the material-based and labor aspects connected to AI. I will moderate this talk right after this introduction. Stanislav Shayu uh, will be our second keynote and will talk about the potential uses of artificial intelligence within architecture. His lecture will be moderated by architect Nibara. And here I would like to take the opportunity to thank all our moderators who have accepted our invitations to take part in this conference. The tech fashion designer Anouk Wiprecht will discuss the ways in which AI can be integrated within the field of fashion while redefining subject environment relationship. This lecture will be moderated by designer Ori Bensby. A special lecture by machine learning researcher and new media artist, Dr. Eyal Gruss, will introduce recent developments in deep learning for synthetic media, computational creativity, design, art, language, and interactive systems. His talk will be moderated by Lenka Hamosova. In addition to the keynote lectures, we'll have four panels. Each panel, as well as the lecturers, will be followed by short Q&A sessions. 
You are invited to address questions to the panelists via the Winnie Bar uh, Q&A button. The first panel, uh, following Professor Jolla's lecture, will relate to the legal, social, and economic aspects associated with the implementations of AI systems. We chose to open the conference with this panel in order to contextualize AI-based design within a wide perspective and to provide theoretical framework for discussing the many ethical issues that arise from the use of these systems. And this panel will be moderated by Jan Kleiser. The second panel entitled Strategies in AI follows uh, Stanislas Chayou's lecture and will present different strategies for using AI within design. And these lectures will address strategies such as problem solving, evolution, and trust building. And it will be moderated by Sigal Barnier. The third panel will examine the concept of consciousness, authorship, and intelligence in the creative processes in AI-based design. The lectures in this panel will explore this concept both within autonomous design systems and within systems based on collaborations between human designers and computers. The moder moderator will be curator Jan van Bunsel. The fourth and last panel will address the concept of agency and changing roles between people and machines in different stages of the design process. And this panel will be moderated by Dr. Arnos Marx and Lenka Hamosaba will join him to conclude the whole conference. Uh, we have a long and dense conference and we really hope that you will uh, enjoy it.